Greetings, welcome to Eagle Eye Opener. There is this shocking CCTV footage showing a witch doing strange things that I want to share with us. Please watch this video. Before we continue, please do where to subscribe in case you have not done so. I saw this video on a WhatsApp group. The person in this video is not known whether the person is a female or a male that the person puts on white. The person actually vanished into the compound. Now look at the person vanished into the compound, drops the broom on the ground. In fact, it looks like a palm front or a broom the person is actually sprinkling a white substance around the broom could you imagine the owners of this compound could be sleeping innocently and somebody refuses to sleep but rather choose to perform wickedness to harm another person. Okay, it's like the person is sprinkling, okay, the person is sprinkling white substance around the vehicle. This is serious. This is pure wickedness. It's very clear. The person is sprinkling white substance run the vehicle when we sleep at night we don't actually know what goes on in the night the night is dangerous this is how people perform all sorts of wickedness in the night the people you know in the day that smile at you could be the same people who will work against you in the night the witch is sprinkling a substance around the vehicle As children of God, we need to be prayerful. We need to be serious in our relationship with God. This is not the time to play Christianity. The witch is bowing down to the broom. Sadly, the owners of this compound could be sleeping innocently. Who knows if this person is actually putting poison around the vehicle to cause accident whenever they drive the vehicle or to knock the engine. Some humans are desperately wicked. Now look at the witch. The witch enters the house by vanishing into the house. If you watch very well, you discover that the witch enters without holding anything. Now as the witch is going to return, you will see that the witch is holding something that looks like a baby. This is night, it is not very clear. If this is really a baby, then that baby needs deliverance. Look at the object. It looks like a baby. Even the way the witch is carrying the object, it looks like a baby. It is wrapped. It looks like a baby. Drops it on the ground. And the witch is making some weird hand movements. Some humans are really, really wicked. The world is wicked. Please be serious with your Christian life. This is a world of wickedness. God is going to judge every wickedness in this world. The wicked will never go unpunished. The witch is making... I believe incantation or invocation over the object or the baby. This is why you need to be prayerful. This is wickedness. This is absolute wickedness. The world is wicked. Please be serious with your Christian life. Be prayerful. Now the witch is returning backward with the baby. 
or object and vanishes Pam. You see the witch vanishes back into the house and is going to return empty handed without the baby. Now that thing, whether a baby or an object, has been poisoned. It has been demonized. And the people are going to wake up innocently and carry the baby or continue to use the object as usual. They have no idea of what happened in the night. Jeremiah chapter 70 verse 9 says, The heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The witch just returned. These are some of the people that go about in the daytime and they claim to be very good people. This is the world we are living in. Please be serious with your Christian life. The world is wicked. The world we live in is a wicked world. Children of God, this is why we need to be prayerful. The days we live in are evil. Brethren, the devil is real just as God is real. Demons are real just as angels are real. Now the witch wants to go back to wherever he or she came from. Watch very closely. The witch is going to vanish away. Bam. The witch is gone. Sadly, some people do not believe the existence of supernatural powers. They doubt everything, including the teachings and warnings in the Holy Bible. They think they are just fables. They are just stories. This is pure witchcraft. It is evil in the highest order. The wicked will never go unpunished. God is going to bring everything that happens in this world under judgment. He is going to judge everything. Sadly, some parents allow their children to watch cartoons and films full of witchcraft. They don't care if their children are getting initiated into witchcraft covens and kingdoms. It's none of their business. They just want to make their children happy. Children and teenagers are constantly being brainwashed into accepting witchcraft as a normal way of life. In fact, some people believe that people, humans are born witches. They are born witches and wizards that people are not being possessed after they are born. They believe that everybody is born a witch and that you have to look for a way to enhance your natural ability. This is a lie. Nobody is born a witch. Satan possesses people. Sometimes in the womb, sometimes and most times. Most times white people are still children. Don't be deceived. Witchcraft is one of the fastest growing religions in the world. Some people don't even know that witchcraft is a religion. Many people who belong to other religions, including Christianity, indulge in the practice of witchcraft. This is very, very sad. The truth remains. No matter how popular witchcraft becomes, it is an abomination unto God. Deuteronomy chapter 18 verses 10 and 11 says, There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his, his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that use a divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a shaman, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. This is God's command, that nobody should practice any form of witchcraft, whether passive or active witchcraft. God hates it. There is nothing like white witchcraft, or black witchcraft, or red, or anything you want to call it. Witchcraft is witchcraft. You can classify it, but it is a sin against God. It's an abomination against God. In Revelation chapter 21 verse 8, the Bible says, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and homongers, and sorcerers, that is, and witches and wizards, all those who practice witchcraft, and idolaters, and all liars, 
shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. All those who practice witchcraft will end up in the lake of fire. That is what the Bible says. We should hear this warning and repent of every kind of evil. Brethren, let's walk as children of light. Let us put on the whole armor of God. Why? Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6 verse 12. There are evil forces in this world. Let us be careful so that we can end our journey through this world in victory. If we follow Jesus Christ obediently, His grace will see us through. Amen. Let us be fervent in serving the Lord and also make sure that instead of being a part of the work of darkness, let's, as children of light, expose them. Thank you for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Eagle Eye Opener. Don't forget to share this video with someone. God bless you as you share this video.